ever easy. It'll take some time, you know. Guys, welcome to Moving On TV. I'm Lauren Hope. I'm the founder and the CEO. This is a mental health show. Today I want to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. I just thought it'd be really a good idea to talk about it because I'm actually going through a lot of PTSD because I've got to move again. Um, now, the reason I do these programs is because I want to encourage people and I want to help them to find out how we can deal with this stuff and I personally will not take medication, everybody knows that. Um, I just do not take medication, so I have to think of ways to help me deal with my post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, to me, basically, um, post-traumatic stress disorder is shock. You go through stuff when you're a child. Um, so when I was seven years old, my parents moved from Dublin to Israel. I lost all my friends, I lost um, my cousins, I lost the brownies, I lost my home, I lost the beautiful garden, the flowers. Um, I remember when we went, I remember everyone standing outside and saying goodbye to my friend Tova and saying, I'll see you, I'll write to you. I remember my grandfather saying, giving me a hug my, and my uh, step-grandmother. And I remember everyone, as I say, my cousins, everyone, all my friends, and I just didn't know what I was going to. I thought mum and dad knew what they were doing. They were taking me to a war zone. God knows. <laughs> but when we got there, from the minute we got there, I knew that my, I wasn't going to be happy. And that's when my PTSD started. That's when I was shocked. I was shocked by the wars, I was shocked by the, the, the change in the weather, it was so hot. The language, the noise, the traffic, the dearth, the filth, I mean it was really dirty. The complete difference to a beautiful safe space in Dublin, you know, totally safe and easy and relaxed and, and a great community, little community. So. Um, what seems to happen to me when I have to move house is unfortunately my mind goes back to, want, to wanting to go home again and that's what I kept saying to my parents, I want to go home. From the minute I arrived in that country I wanted to go back to Dublin. I want to go home, I want to go home, I want to go home. And my parents didn't ever give me an answer, they didn't say to me when we're not going home, that's it. They kept me hanging on. And that's something I don't think that was fair. And I never ever got used to that country because I didn't, there was no certainty. You know, they, they used to say things like, oh, we'll go home when your sister is older or when you finish school. There was always something. And of course, that puts a lot of uncertainty into me. So at the moment, I'm going through a lot of PTSD. I wake up in the middle of the night screaming and crying for my mum and dad who are now dead, wanting to go home. So what can I do? I found moving on TV for solutions. What can I do to help myself and to help other people that are suffering from PTSD? And as I say, I will not take medication. To me, it's not the answer. Once we move, after about a week, I'm likely to have settled down. But it's that uncertainty again of not knowing where I am. The fear of all my stuff getting lost, you know, it's that little child again. So what I do, the most important thing to me is my work, my creativity, moving on TV, editing, making programs and putting out the message to you of how I think I can pass this on to you because it helps me to get out of the house, to make sure that I eat properly to make sure that I sleep properly if I can. But work is the most important thing. It's, I've got to take my mind off me. And when I do moving on TV, I've got my mind on you, on the human race, on what can I do to improve your life. And by doing that, I enjoy, I love what I do. So there you go. So. You know, these are the ways that I would deal with the post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, meditation is another one. 
I would try to get to a lot of groups as much as possible. And at that moment, when I'm in my group meditating, I will calm down and I won't even think about the move. Um, try to stay in the moment. Not everything is working at the moment. The little child is kicking and screaming and I've had a few breakdowns. But, as I said, I'm here today in Micklefield Library and I'm working. I got myself together. I got dressed. I did some editing. I came here. I did some interviews. Because this is my passion. It's what I love. And so maybe that's the answers, guys, because it takes me from that little screaming child inside to a woman with a mission who's responsible. I have to tell you, another thing I do is I ring the Samaritans because sometimes I don't have anyone to talk to. There's just no one to talk to. And last night I got this most beautiful Samaritan and I was saying to her, I was telling her about what's happening to me and all the post-traumatic stress and I said I don't know what to do you know I want to go out there as well there's so many things happening in the world I want to contribute more I want to do more and then I told her about moving on TV and I told her I do it to give people hope and she said wow that's great Lauren keep doing it that is your mission keep doing it and as I say the more I can give others hope the chances are I'll be okay as well. <laughs> so there you go. Narcissism in reverse. Because I'm very narcissistic. This child inside kicks and screams a lot, I can tell you. So I hope this program about post-traumatic stress disorder has helped you a little bit. I don't believe that we should be diagnosed all the time with mental illness. I believe that we're shocked. I believe we need more love, more nurturing, more support. We're all little children that I was left with big questions of whether I'm going to go home or not. Mum and Dad never were honest with me. That can play havoc, you know. If you've got a child, then don't mess with their head that way. Give them a little bit of certainty. Be honest with them and say, no, we're not. We can't. We haven't got the money. But there you go. So that's how I'm dealing with it and I hope that this little program, I thought I'll put it across to you because I'm working today in spite of it. So I hope that this helps you in some way. Take care, have a beautiful day and if you want to contact me and come on the mental health show or ask me to talk about whatever, it's Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N-E at movingontv.uk. Um, you can get me on Twitter at Moving On TV, Facebook Moving On TV, and please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell on Moving On TV community on YouTube. And donations are very, very um, accepted and needed at the moment, as sponsors are as well, and new hosts and presenters. And that's it. So, in order to stay well and stay balanced, I need to edit, I need to work and run Moving On TV. What can you do to help your PTSD, to help your shock? Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswell Hypnotherapy.